right, so we're here at the... Uh, you have this, this device, and what is this? What this is, this is the WISP, that's a new de uh, device from GP2X, from Game Park Holdings. Um, you might know the GP2X, which has been an open source device, and this is the brand new model. Brand it, new model. Brand new model, yeah. It features a 533 megahertz processor. Yeah. It has 3D powers. And it's based on, on Linux again, so it's open source with SD cards up to 32 gigabyte. It can play videos, it can play music, it can play flash games, and uh, there will be a lot of uh, free games available for download for, uh, at the homepage. So, uh, so how, how does it upgrade from the old model? What's the difference now? I can, uh, what do people really get out of the difference? Um, it's, it's pretty small. It's uh, not too small, you can com uh, play comfortably with it, yeah. but it's smaller than the GP2X, you can put it in your pocket for MP3 yeah. listening. Um, it has a um, battery built in, a yeah. flat battery, so um, you can play a lot longer with this and you don't need to charge your uh, batteries. Um, it has flash games built in, which is pretty cool because there are a lot of flash content available on the internet. So much, much longer, did you say, uh, battery life? Or? Yeah, it's about uh, five to six hours in normal use. And uh, flash, flash support, flash animation support? Or yeah, support? exactly. You can not only flash animations, you can also play flash games. All right. So if you download a flash game from the internet, you can play it. I'll see if I have something with flash on here. It's still on development because it's um, released in October. Ah, yeah. And the firmware is not completely finished yet. Let me see. So the, the company making this, what is the name of the company making these devices? That's Game Park Holdings. Game Park Holdings. Yeah, exactly. And where is that based? Where is That's it? based in Korea. In Korea. Exactly. And, uh, so they made the first GP a long time ago, they made the first model? Yeah, that was, uh, well the gp 2 x has been released in 2005. But before that, they were uh, working on the GP32, which has been released long ago. I think it was 2001 or something like that. And that was the first homebrew, portable homebrew system, basically. So does it support uh, new emulators or something like that? Is it more powerful for that? It is really more powerful. It yeah. has double the power of the GP2X. So you can play Super Nintendo. If you got the ROMs, you can play uh, PlayStation games. should be possible because it has a 3D processor. Is um, it Yeah. PSX games. Yeah, like sure. The, the, the previous model could not do that. And no, because it was lacking a 3D processor, so they ran really, really slow. Yeah. And with the new model, that should be possible. But it's more focused on homebrew games. Game right. Collins will support homebrew development, and they will uh, yeah. support the homebrew coders. And so there will be a lot of good homebrew games released for it. Yeah. How about Quake? Quake 2, Quake 3? Should be possible it to play, possible. Yeah. yeah. It's not ported yet, but... Uh, Given you have a 3D processor, it's Linux, it and should be possible. Can you say again what the processor is? Um, yeah, it's the 533 megahertz ARM processor. It's based on the Pollux okay. chipset. Pollux chipset. Yeah. Good. And how much will it cost? And when is it available? Well, it depends on where you live. In Germany, it's 165 euro, including that, VAT. That's basically the European price. Um, if you buy it from PlayAsia, I think uh, it's about 140 US dollars. All right. 165 in Europe. Yeah. Cool. Exactly. Thanks. In October. For Christmas, yeah. it's a great present. Yeah, sure. It's better than the. And the until SD Christmas, screen. there will be a lot of uh, games released already. Cool. It's not touch screen, right? It is touch screen. It is. It is. It is. You can use the touch screen. Um, if you want, you have a pen right here. So, can you actually emulate the DS? No, you can emulate the DS because the DS has two screens and it's pretty powerful. Yeah. So that is not possible, but well, I've got something on here if you want to see, um, maybe Blood Cross. How about the Nintendo 64? Mm, might be possible, but I have no idea. Maybe. It's, okay. Yeah, it, it, like on the PSP, it runs, yeah. but it runs not perfect. So let's see what we have here. That's basically a fighting game. And that's one of the commercial games that's going to be released for the gp 2 x and select my character here. So how, the, how does it work, the commercial games? How does that work? Um, it's, it, not, uh, it's not completely, um, it's not completely set up yet, but they will be available for download. So you can buy the games online, download them, put them on your SD card, and then play them. There will be some boxed versions, but uh, a lot of small games, like puzzle games, are available for a few bucks. 
and they will be available for download. That's cool. Cheap games is a good idea. Yeah. A lot of uh, uh, gamers don't have too much time today, so they only play for a few minutes while waiting for the bus and something like that. And that's where small good games uh, are perfect. Thanks. Uh, thanks a lot. No problem. And the uh, name exactly is The Wiz? The Wiz. Cheap 2 x Wiz. The Wiz. The Wiz, okay. yeah.